Well, given that the Cuban American community has always been sort of in esta lucha, right, in this fight, uh, you know, against the, the communist government, what specifically, though, do you think is different about these set of protests? We've seen protests in, in Cuba before, right, in 1994, and it led to specific things that happened historically, Maria Boatlift and a bunch of other things. What specifically to you is different about this moment? You know, something internet. Internet is the worst enemy of them because everybody's seeing the reality. He's seeing the, how they hit people, how they punish their families. They're doing so many things for the first time. Internet really showing something they didn't have before. That's what is key element. I told the president, that's a key element. To, you know, we bring internet back and you stop technology to show the world all these elements. That's, that's the only hope they have. They don't have any arms. They don't have anything to fight against the military. I feel so bad at night sometimes when I watch the news, so, you know, it's so hard to go to sleep thinking about these people 90 miles away. And, you know, there's so, so many horrible things happening. I, you know, I told that to the president and uh, it's horrible. Listen, it's a, it's, it's a horrible feeling because in my heart, it, you know, it feels all this pain on the same time. It feels happiness. A little lie is coming. And I think the internet is going to be a key player, not to, not for us. We know what's going on to show the world everything yeah. that happens. And by the way, it really makes me uh, hopeful to see our young people because, for example, my daughter and her girlfriend, Gemini Hernandez, have been doing taking donations and filling the phones of Cubans in Cuba that had no way to communicate with their families. And they've been sending uh, you know, messages back and videos back because the phones aren't controlled by the internet, you know, that that's a way where we can get around and still make sure that they have, you know, the ability to get the word out of what's happening and amplifying those voices of those people, Joanny like Sanchez, that, you know, is, is constantly trying to feed us information about what's happening. And uh, we have to keep lines of communication however we can. I mean, Russia's well, in there big time scrambling, helping Cuba to scramble, I'm sure. Any attempt that we have to break through. But Cubans are resourceful and they will find a way. Uh, and let me tell you, I'm oh. so proud of the Cuban people because it's so hard to speak there because you're unrealistic. Know, Here we can talk. Anything you say there, they're going to go and punish you and they punish your family. And I'm proud about the Venezuelan people and the Nicaraguan people. We all get in together to send a message of hope to the world. Anything that happens in Cuba is going to help Nicaragua. It's going to help definitely Venezuela.